name's Paul Lawton of R&B Quickform. I'm the senior sales representative for the northeast of England. We're on the Tyne Tunnel second crossing, and this is the R&B Quickform R700 Soffit Traveller. The 21 metre long unit is actually made up of three sections. The centre leg of each is a hydraulic leg. And this means that you can actually lift the system up on the hydraulics adjusting the height. One of the key points of the travelling system that we've developed is to suit the height changes within the soffit. As you can see from the rebar that they fix for the next bore, the changing gradient becomes quite significant and it makes quite a big difference in the leg makeup. The reason it's in three sections is to allow for a little bit of articulation because as the tunnel goes up it gradually curves around. So you need the adjustment between the units so you can make this side slightly longer, the other side slightly shorter to go around the corners. We have a special bracing there and that asks for ease of adjustment and as opposed to using push-pull props where you'd have to take out sections and add sections. These have been made specially so that we can quickly adjust it to take into account the difference in height. This is a, a section of Megashore on the side of the main Megashore leg. The, the caster, so obviously you can move the system along on the rail. Um, the axle is a sliding axle, which gives you a bit of tolerance for moving to take up any uh, tolerances in the width of the tunnel itself. Hello, it's uh, Philip Bozang, Project Engineer from Dunn Building and Civil Engineering. Basically our roof slab is uh, constructed with a RMD Quickform false work system. It's a large traveller section that we set up on a rail. Basically we attach turfers for pulling it. The hydraulic systems in the traveller makes life easier on site. So far we've cast four roof slabs. There's no messing about the systems on rails. You release this, pull it forward, jack it up again, and that's you ready to roll. Now we're now going to see the hydraulic legs in action. The hydraulic rams run right from the top there down to here, giving a huge amount of adjustment. What will happen is the leg will be lowered and the load taken on this hydraulic leg. That will then release the load from the adjoining Megashore legs so they can be retracted. The system will then be lowered down onto the casters, onto the rails, which means that then it can be pulled along to its next position. Pulling up a hill here, um, so from a safety point of view, it's important to have some method of stopping the thing. If anything went wrong, if something snapped, the whole thing could just roll back down the hill, and go straight through the wall at the bottom and into the river. So every now and again, they move these steel wedges up behind the roller, and that's just a fail-safe to stop the thing rolling away. RMD Quickform have been very uh, helpful. They've helped us along the way. It's a good system with this experience from this job. We'll be able to modify it and I'm sure it'll be used again. It's, uh, it's the way forward, you know.